Hi boys and girls, welcome back. This week in math, we're going to continue our study of multiplication. Today we're working on chapter four, lesson three, hands-on multiplying with arrays. So let's get started. First it says draw an array. An array has rows of equal length and columns of equal length. Make an array on a piece of paper. We're gonna do it right here. Make an array on a piece of paper showing four rows with three tiles. All right, so four rows. I'm gonna just make what looks like their array. They made boxes. We've been making X's or dots. We're gonna make boxes now. So I'm gonna make four rows. Remember our strategy of R for rows and C for columns. Okay, so one, two, Three, and if I close it up, that will give me four rows. One, two, three, four. Okay, and then it wants us to have three tiles in each row. So, I, like I kind of made them big, didn't I? I'm going to bring this one together. A little crooked, sorry. All right, so I got four rows. There's my rows and my columns. All right. So count how many tiles I have. Well, if I do my skip counting, I can go four, eight, 12. I can go three, six, nine, and 12. So I know I have 12, right? That's our other strategy of the skip counting. So now it says turn your paper sideways and now show them differently. So I, instead of, I'm gonna do it first real quickly. I'm gonna turn it this way. So you now know that I have three rows and four columns, but I'm also gonna draw it for you and show it to you that way. So if I were to turn this problem on its side, I would now have three rows, and I'm gonna make four columns. One, two, three, and I guess I gotta extend it out just a little bit. Okay, so now I have rows and columns this way, and I have three rows, in four tiles in each row. So it's a little bit different than what they ask us to do right here. Okay, it just changed the order. And so now I drew it, and now I'm gonna count the tiles, and again I'm gonna go three, six, nine, 12, and then um, four, eight, and 12. So that's our going across. So I still have 12, okay? So there are 12 no matter how I turn it, right? Okay, pretty simple. All right, so the commutative property of multiplication states the order in which the numbers are multiplied does not change the product. So until now we've been doing rows times columns equals our unknown answer, okay? We're still doing that. We're just showing you now that I can say four times three equals 12, or I can say three times four equals 12. All right. Use the tiles to make an array on a piece of paper of five rows and two tiles. Draw the array. Okay, so five rows. Let's do our bracket. And two tiles. Okay, so I have five rows, two columns. So five rows, two columns and it's 10, okay, so I go five and 10, and I go two, four, six, eight, and 10. So I would be adding two plus two plus two plus two plus two equals 10. Okay, we've been kind of doing this already, right? Okay, turn the paper. So I'm gonna draw it differently now. I'm just gonna have two rows, and I'm gonna make my brackets across. One, two, three, four, and five. So I have five in the columns and two in the rows. So now I would just say five plus five is 10. So that's that five and the five here would make 10. And I have two rows with five in each row to equal 10. Same thing, right? Commutative property, two, four, six, eight, and 10. Pretty good. Okay, pretty simple, right? All right, at the bottom now. What's the connection between repeated, uh, yeah, repeated addition and an array? Well, each, 
equal, uh, if I can spell, equal rho can be added together. Okay, so that's, we're showing both the repeated addition and the multiplication. And how do you use an array to model commutative property? You turn it. Um, so I guess I would say you can turn it or move the rows and columns. Kind of messy, sorry. Um, list three everyday objects that are arranged in an array. Okay, well, I right away think of floor tiles. Okay, I see them every day, whether I'm in the classroom or in the hallway or in the gym or in Walmart. There are tiles on the floor, and they're usually arranged in an array. Um, what else can I think of? Sometimes windows. Windows have panes in them, and they look like they have or are an array. And what else? <laughs> I'll let you think of that. You think of a third one, and then you can tell me in a Google Meet. Okay, now let's do one or two of the independent ones. They should be pretty easy for you. It's asking you to draw, so you're going to have to do four rows. I'll do this one real quick. Four rows, so there's my rows, and they're four. And now my columns are two. So there's my columns, okay? That's how simple these are. Four, eight, two, four, six, and eight, okay? All right, and this repeated addition stuff, I think you can handle that. A little bit over, they're asking your opinion. Uh, the bottom one says describe a real life situation for number six, okay? So um, come up with something, and you might wanna think about the tiles on the floor in your kitchen or maybe the windows in your garage or something, okay? And what else do we got? This one's very simple. It's asking you to draw again, and I left you some of those instructions about when you draw, just use the X's. That's really helpful. And there's a circle, I believe, for this one. So you should be fine. And then the homework pages. All right, boys and girls, that's all for now for multiplication.